Good morning, guys. <laughs> I am so sleepy. I didn't want to get out of bed at 6.26. And I fell asleep early last night. I didn't do that teacup chat. We are going to do it today for sure, though. For sure. And I started to upload that video. I edited it and uh, uploaded it. And didn't click publish till about an, I don't know, a couple hours ago when I got up in the middle of the night. Oh tired but it's Friday it's cowboy day or farmer day or something at school for the kids I forget if I said it's Tracy from Nova Scotia living <laughs> oh god well that's who it is anyways I need to pack their lunches I'm so glad I got those lunch little lunch things at the grocery store yesterday I just need to get a couple of little treats to put in there their water bottle their juice box banana and then their lunch will be done so I'll bring you back in a little bit and the kids are going to be dressed as little farmers or cowboys today so hopefully I can snap a picture of them and show you guys before they leave for school all right guys it's 20 after 7 the girls just about missed the bus <laughs> oh my goodness that was a close one we oh it's one of those mornings I'm telling you one of those mornings it's hard it's Friday, but it's hard. Sorry, I'm jiggling you back and forth, but we gotta do a run. And then <clears throat> my son is upstairs awake. He must have got up. Oh, it's rain. It's rainy out. He must have got up earlier. I'll wipe you guys off. I see rain droplets. He's up there doing some homework assignment. When I'm in the frenzy, he's like, can you go downstairs and make me a coffee? <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> fat chance right now. I said, not now, I can't. I got, he's like, why not? I said, well, I got four kids to get up and out the door. We're not jeepers. Anyways, when I get back, I'll make one, but he's just going to have to hold his horses. He's one the jelly sandwich for breakfast. Homemade cranberry jelly. There, that's my other baby boy's breakfast. One of those everything bagels and a coffee. All right, friends. Well, I had a meeting here at 9 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock now. Maze is getting his fingers in the cookie jar, cookie tub over there. No, I'm not. You're not? No. Um, house isn't too bad. I've got my little bean here. He's sitting out there in his bouncy chair. And yeah, I'm going to relax for a little while. And just enjoy my boys. You want to come in here? Pick up your cookie. Silly babies. Well, little Evie's asleep now. <clears throat> I need to go find Maze. He sauntered upstairs earlier. He's probably getting into one of the girls' rooms. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, they just leave their blankets and stuff everywhere in the morning, though. They always seem to take their sheets and stuff off. Where are you, Maze? Are you getting into me, Mally stuff? No. Oh. What are you doing way up there? Yeah, I do have to get you down. I made something and get down. I think you made a stinky bomb. I can smell ya. Yes. Well, Mally got her stuff out this last evening. I told her she'll clean it up when she gets home today. And, yeah, she's got to put her clothes away. <laughs> Come over on this side. I'll get you down. I'm just going to make my bed while I'm up here and get the dirty clothes. The rest is all good. After 11 but I'm gonna get some stuff done while I can while a little man's sleeping and Maze is content I just changed them wash my hands though and I picked up these yesterday they're mild Italian sausages we usually get hot but I didn't realize but I'm making them anyways I had stuff in the 
freezer I could use, but I just, you know, when you go to a grocery store and you're hungry for something, you end up buying stuff. That's what this is. So I'm gonna boil, I always boil my sausages a little bit at first before I fry them. My husband can barbecue them. I can't seem to barbecue them. I always burn them, so I boil them to get a lot of the fat out. And then I fry them up. But I just wanna get this going. And I always poke holes in them too. Well, cut it. You just cut it now. Just give it a little poke, right Maze? Yeah, cut. Uh, you want me to give you a little poke in the button, belly button? No. Poke. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. So I'll just do this real quick. Why? It just lets the extra juices out. Oh, why? Because you know these are all fatty, like, but they're... They're tasty. Yeah, and it's, and it's good. Friday, so I might as well make something that's gonna taste good, and Can the kids I will like it. Cause one? you can't eat them now, honey. They're not cooked. You'll get sick if you eat them now. Gotta wait for supper time. Oh. And sometimes I eat them in a bun, like a hot dog, or just slice them up in little coins with a blob of mustard and ketchup. Whatever. But yeah, I got that postcard from yesterday. So we are going to do that teacup chat after. And this is going to be a, not quite as long a video as it was yesterday. At least I don't think. If it is, it's going to be sitting down chit-chatting with you guys with a cup of tea. There we go. I'll just boil these for a half hour or so. Strain them and then we can crisp them up, fry them up in the frying pan. I'm doing two packages because there's always not enough. Like, they all get eaten. And yeah, we'll probably have a few left over, but it's the weekend and it'll get eaten over the weekend. So, I'm just going to fill that, cover that with water and boil it for half hour, 45 minutes. No, probably a half hour once it starts kicking in. Good idea, Maze? Yeah. Sound like a plan, Stan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I took those sausages out of here oh, about 20 minutes ago. So just a minute, bub. And had lots of cuddles with my baby boys out there. So I'm going to start frying these up in a little bit when Evie's picked up. And the girls will be home from school in a little over an hour. And I think I'm just going to do a bag of fries with them and maybe a thing of veggies. And that'll be supper. So, yeah. So these are like boiled, like they're cooked, but I like to fry them up a little bit so they get a little browner on the outside and stuff. Yeah, and tasty, tasty. And inside and outside. Yeah. That's right, Bob. Right there beside your purse. I think I'm going to try my new uh, Heritage frying pan for the first time today. So I'm going to take it out and give it a wash. And then we'll sizzle up some sausages. Alright, I'm just going to heat the pan up a little bit. I even washed it and it just, the water goes right off like it's dry. Craziness. And it's a thick bottomed one so it'll take a minute to warm up and then I'm going to put these sausages on. Alright, I moved it to the back burner because some of that sausage boil water fell down in the burner and it was smoking too much. So I'm just going to use the back burner. And I just do it until it gets a little brown around the edges. and it was so cute. Alright guys, it's all out. Mm -hmm. 
let's get this party started. So, me, uh, Misha wants her sausage just cut up. That's usually how she has it. And Mays will have his this way too. Just cut it up in little discs. Do you want some french fries, Misha? Do you want some of that macaroni salad? Okay. This is some of that salad we had the other day. Just a little bit left over. So, now if I had some cucumber, I'd slice up some of that, but I don't have any. It would just go good with this. You hear Misha doing her opera singing? <laughs> There's Misha's. Do you want ketchup or ketchup and mustard? What one? Ketchup. Can you help me get mine? Well, you tell them what you're doing then. Can you help me get mine? Oh, yes. Do you want yours in a bun? No. Don't you, eat you don't want yours in a bun either? I don't really eat mine in a bun. Okay. I have two. Yep. Do you want it cut up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I know Mazaya wants hers in a bun. No, you just leave Zaya. I know what she wants. Medea's up there putting Evie down to for sleep, so you just gotta be quiet up there. had supper. I'm gonna go pick a teacup and we're gonna sit down and have a cup of tea while the house is kind of quiet. All right guys, well I just made a cup of tea. <clears throat> it's only like 10 to 6 but I want a cup of tea now. It seems so light out. I mean it is light out but when I was doing the teacup chat, you know, over the winter and stuff, it'd be dark by now, you know, like totally pitch black outside. Anyways, yes, this is a beautiful cup. This is kind of like, uh, this is the one I was thinking it was kind of like that yellow one I had, only it's white and gold instead of yellow and gold. <clears throat> I'll bring you up a little closer, or I'll bring it up a little closer to you. Look at this. It's like the white and it's all like laced with gold flowers and berries. Very nice and it's inside too. At least halfway down the inside of the teacup. Let me just see here. Isn't that nice? This is Royal Albert Bone China, England. You can see here down at the bottom, that's all gold. And on, is it on the, oh, it's not on the sides, but it's on the, that part of it. Isn't that nice? Oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. Now it's been a busy past couple of days. I actually meant to write a note about what I wanted to talk about. Nothing that it was, just because... I can't remember everything. <laughs> but in regards to myself, I'm physically feeling much better. I still get tired out and tuckered out. I fell asleep early last night. I did. And although I had a little heavy here all day today, uh, I did have, I rested quite a bit, like when he was resting and things like that. Um, uh, 
Um, it was nice just to do a lot, a lot of cuddles and things like that. I probably have baby spit up on me, so if there's any spots showing up on my shirt, that's that's what it is. <laughs> But, yeah, no, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Yesterday, I went into town and accomplished, if you watched my video yesterday, I keep thinking you guys all know what's going on in my mind and what's going on in my life and stuff. Uh, not that it was anything big yesterday, but if you watched yesterday, you've seen that I took a trip to town yesterday and I brought back beer bottles. I had a couple of errands, stopped to my dad's, went to Frenchie's. And, but let me tell you, if I had, you know, the funds, that Frenchie's trip would have been fantastic. It seemed like all the bins were overflowing full of fantastic clothes. And I really, I'm not even a shopaholic or one of those people that go shopping for clothes. I hate clothes shopping for myself, especially. But I could have came home and thrown out every single stitch of clothing of my children's and bought them all new, beautiful wardrobes. They had so many beautiful things there. But I went there for the sole purpose of buying three little flannel shirts for the cowboy farmer day at school today, which I, here's a couple of pictures. Mally didn't want to get her picture taken, so I wasn't going to make her, but, um, and then I just got Mally a, a hoodie because she needed one, but yeah, it, it rain when it rains, it pours, you know, when you go to Frenchie's, sometimes you go there and there's nothing, other times you go there and there's so much stuff, you just, you don't got enough money. But uh, it's always a great place to go shopping. <sighs> That's good. That's good. Anyways, uh, I'll jump in before I start rambling too much. But this, I, I got a note from a friend of mine. Let me just tell you a little bit about her. Her name's Christina. She's from Nova Scotia, too. She has a YouTube channel, and she's had one for years. And I used to watch her channel, and I got to know her a little bit. Like, we've never actually met. I think someday we might, because we're maritime ladies, and, you know, someday we'll meet Christina. Uh, anyway, she's from Cape Breton. And she's one of the main ones that really encouraged me and answered a lot of my questions in regard regarding how to start a YouTube channel, because I didn't know how to start a YouTube channel. And she helped me out a lot. So she started a a postcard exchange so if you guys are interested I'll make sure her link is down below she's a wonderful person she, her her channel's called cheapskate gardener and she gardens and she cans and she cooks and she shows different scenery of Cape Breton Nova Scotia which is absolutely a phenomenal place I've only been there a couple of times in my life I haven't been there for years but just the drive to go up to Cape Breton there's mountains and there's moose and there's fog and there's ocean and there's just the heritage and culture there absolutely stunning to me stunning I love it love it there I, I hope to go back sometime and bring my kids last time I was there I think my oldest daughter was probably four and she's 22 now like pretty bad I know but we went to different museums there and stuff anyways check out her channel but she's the one that sent me this postcard so I'm going to show you, and it, it's just Nova Scotia. I, I was going to say it looks like Halifax, but it, I don't think it's Hel Downtown Harbor, Sydney, Nova Scotia. So it's in, I, I assumed it would be in Cape Breton, Sydney, Cape Breton. It looks kind of like downtown Halifax, some of those buildings that they're down there. Isn't that nice? So I know around here, I was in the dollar store yesterday, and Canada... Canada Day is coming up, so there's going to have all this Canada merchandise and postcards. And <sighs> Digby is quite a touristy town, right? It's famous Digby scallops, or at least that's what we're known for, apparently. I don't know. You guys out there far and wide, do you ever hear of Digby scallops? I don't know. But I'm going to try to find a, a nice postcard to send back to you, uh, Christina. She would... I hope you don't mind me reading this. I'm going to read it. I started a postcard exchange on my channel. I hope it finds you well. Love your channel. So glad you made it. Much love and support. Christina. And then she put, P.S. You don't have to send a postcard back, but it would be cool. Cheapskate Gardener and her address. So I do plan on sending it back, but I know 
for you people that have been watching me for a while, you know how far behind I am with things. While I was sick, I caught up on emails and video, some videos and some comments, and uh, I'm going to start back with my letters again, but I welcome all letters. I do. I read them, and I love them, and I cherish and I them, and I, I all of that, so I do plan on responding now that I've caught up some, on some of the other things. But this is a beautiful card, so I'll find a real special one and send it send it your way, Christina, so you can have a little taste of uh, where my little community, if I can find one for this community, or for Digby, which is 10 minutes away, which, you know, is probably more well-known, but never know. Yeah, it was spring. Today is Friday the 13th. <laughs> I, it dawned on me later this afternoon. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> so I, I'm not a superstitious person or anything. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, I just I get a little wicked grin out of it, you know. Oh, Friday the 13th. I wonder if Jason's going to pop out and scare me tonight. I love horror movies and scary things like that. It, it really it puts my gets that little hump up on my back, and I'm just like, woo. <laughs> And I know it's all make-believe, it's not real, but Friday the 13th, do you guys ever remember? Uh, I know when I was a teenager, that was the epitome of, you know, scary movies. Friday the 13th, or Nightmare on Elm Street, or Halloween movies. And I mean, yeah, they've remade all these movies, but when I was young, that was when they were new. So it's kind of neat to, uh, to rehash that, I guess. And I've been watching a lot of people uh, talking about starting their gardens and stuff. And again, if you know, I don't have a green thumb. I wish I did, but I don't. But we always try to plant something. And I do a ton of canning in the fall and in the summer and stuff like that. I, I try to can all year round. But uh, if we don't grow it, I buy it or go to u picks here in our surrounding community because there's gardens all around us. Vineyards and gardens. Vineyards and gar gardens. And uh, get them at great prices. Um, but yeah, I, I know we'll probably be trying to start to plan something. We've never really tried to start, start seeds inside, which I know a lot of people do, but we're not that that with it, I guess. But we do plant those three little garden boxes down behind our house. There's always green beans and yellow beans and peas and tomatoes and cucumbers. Like stuff that we're going to eat or the kids can go snack on when they're playing outside. It's not really so much for canning. I mean, I, I have canned up those before. But uh, that's kind of free range. If it's growing and the kids are outside playing, they can go snap some peas off and eat them. Like, it's, it's not a big deal. Which is kind of, I think that's kind of nice. I hope that they grow up and remember that. And since it's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday, uh, my husband and I have to go do a course it's just in Cornwallis. It's not far. Since we're a foster family, we have to kind of keep up on courses. And one of the mandatory ones is nonviolent crisis intervention. <sighs> it's a pain in the butt, but you got to do it. And, I mean, it's good to know, but we've never had to use it. And... It's, it's just the refresher course, so it's not the two-day course, it's the one-day course. But, and I have to pretty much drag my husband there, to be honest. He hates, hates going to these things. <laughs> so do I, just because it's a whole day. But I like to look for the light in the dark spots. And the, the people are very nice, don't get me wrong. The teachers are very nice. The other families that are there are very nice. But it's just, a highlight for me is I get to have a lunch and eat as much as I want. And I don't have to cook it. How fantastic is that? Okay, guys. Sorry, I thought uh, my battery died, but it <laughs> I ran out of memory. Yeah, I can go there. And there's coffee and donuts or fruit and all that stuff when I get there in the morning. And it's nothing I had to do. So I go there and I make a pig of myself, pretty much. Uh, well, not really, but, you know, they have juice and water and food and you know it's not a great big banquet of food but it's still 
I didn't have to do it. And I love feeding my family. I love cooking meals for them and knowing that their bellies are full and they have rich food in their, you know, system. But it's nice to have a day that I don't have to do anything. And tomorrow, I think the course gets done probably around 4. It starts at 9, probably gets done around 3, 30, 4 o'clock. Um, I might take out a freezer meal tonight. Or uh, there's hot, a package of hot dogs still in the fridge. I could always do that. Uh, it was yesterday I went to town. I bought those four little Michelinas taco bites or something like that so my eldest daughter is coming over here tomorrow morning with Evie and is going to watch the kids I did get childcare for the two littlest babies that we have um, outside of the home for tomorrow but my eldest daughter will be here with the other kids and she can just give that to them for lunch they'll have breakfast before we leave and yeah there's bananas and raisins and cookies and all that kind of stuff that they can snack on throughout the day like it's kind of nice it'll be kind of nice so I'm gonna have a shower tonight I want to show you in there see it's like halfway down there this one looks like it's been used quite a lot it's all washed and clean but you can tell it's been loved whoever had this before I know some of you ask and I've said it before, I, where I get some of my teacups. Some of them are yard sales, some of them are friends that are getting rid of them or selling them, and I, I do, I get them that way. Sometimes I buy one teacup at a time or like a whole lot like I did the other day, you know? Whatever, whatever comes my way, I guess, but... Yeah, well, I think I'll cut it off here because Maze is asleep. I'm going to start that dishwasher. My husband's not home yet, but there's enough sausages and french fries for the two of them. There'll still be probably a few sausages left, so that'll be in there. And there's a little bit of that pulled pork left from yesterday, too, so that might be what supper is. I could take out a thing of cabbage rolls tonight, have them put in the oven, you know, around 2.30 by my daughter, and they can have a cabbage roll or some... Uh, pulled pork or uh, sausage or hot dog. <laughs> That's quite the combination, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, it's food. It's food. That's what it's there for. Anyways, I'm going to, yeah, cut it off now. I keep saying that. But peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. If not, that's a okay. I still love you. I do plan on taking you guys along tomorrow. I mean, I'm not going to film during the course, but in the morning, I'll, I always like to say good morning to you, of course, and I'll show you what we're having for lunch. I have no idea. They just, they always ask when you register for these courses if there's any allergies, and I'm allergic to all fish and shellfish and all nuts. Oh, one person commented on one of my videos the other day. I just popped into my head and asked if I ever make fish chowder because her father-in-law lives in Nova Scotia and makes a mean fish chowder. No, I don't, simply for the reason that I'm allergic. My husband does, though. He does make it, and sometimes it's a fish chowder, sometimes it's a clam chowder, sometimes it's a mixture of all that stuff together, and I guess it's very good, but I have no idea what it tastes like because I'm allergic, deathly allergic. <laughs> so if you're looking for fish recipes, no, it's not going to be me. <laughs> I can make a tuna fish sandwich, I, go, I guess, because I don't have to cook it, but yeah. I'm allergic, so. Anyways, I'm jabbering on. Jabbering on and on and on. Anyways, guys, have a good evening, and I love ya, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.